Hi folks, I'm out in my workshop. I just wanted to do a really quick video showing you another addition to my heater collection. This one is also under construction. It doesn't have any of the electronics or anything in it. And the bottom heating element is a rebuild. The top one is just modified. Unfortunately, it's very cloudy and the heater is not doing a whole lot right now. The sun keeps coming in and out, so you can see it brightening up right now. It gets brighter when the sun comes out and then it starts to get dim if the sun goes behind a cloud. This heater is giving me about 200 to 450 watts, something like that, depending on the sun. It's early in the testing for this one, but it seems to be performing well. A quick update on part two of the heater DIY build series. I've been hard at work. I managed to get good footage of building a heater, working on a heater, and I did some work in front of the camera and made a pretty nice, I think a pretty nice presentation. Unfortunately, I ran into severe problems with my video editor and it kept crashing and I tried everything and wasted a, a great deal of time so it really slowed me down but that video should be up soon i appreciate all of the support on the last video i really did not expect that and part two is going to be very detailed i think and i think it will really help everyone who wants to build pv2l heaters to get started it's going to provide a nice foundation of knowledge and it's going to explain some of the concepts it does not cover power electronics it does cover safety and the heating elements themselves building heating elements and so forth it does talk a lot about safety because, let's be honest, a heater like this can burn your house down with solar panels, and that's no laughing matter. So there are some safety issues. So hopefully in the future I can get into the power electronics and make presentations about that. Right now I'm just covering the basic theory and function. As you can see, the heater's starting to get dim again because the sun has again dropped out. It starts dropping towards the 30 volt range and it doesn't produce a lot of heat. But that is just the way PV2L heating is. It is going to vary if the sun is going behind the clouds. And that's, for me, not really a problem. I expect that. I like the purity and the direct nature of the power transfer. And I don't like a lot of complicated systems. I like how simple this is. And so I don't mind if the heat output varies. That doesn't bother me at all. I hope to have part two live soon. I think it will really help folks out. And hopefully in the future I can follow up and do more videos about this. There is more to it than what part two will cover, but part two, in my opinion, will give people a nice solid foundation and some understanding of what they need to do to build their own PV2L heaters. And one of the viewers had asked me to point an IR thermometer at the heater just to get an idea of the temperatures. Now it's been running for a while. If I point it at the case, you can see that it's about, well now it's about 100 degrees. Of course you go over to the element yeah, of course it's not very accurate to point at a reflective surface like this. You can see it's jumping all over the place. Yeah, it says it went over temperature, I guess. Yeah, it went over temperature. Now this is not super scientific, but if I put a piece of black tape on my hand, I'll go ahead and scan it with the IR thermometer. You know, it's in the 80s. Now I'm gonna put that black tape in front of the heater and I'm going to scan it again. And you get around 120 to 130. It varies. About 150, 130, 120. It jumps all over the place. But it's hot. Actually, it's hard to hold my hand in front of it that close. Now, of course, the important stat is what is the heater putting out in terms of power i get about 400 or so watts or more out of this heater if it's pretty bright outside and there's good sun this heater currently isn't producing maximum heat output because it's a very cloudy day there's not a whole lot of sun the sun keeps going in and out in fact you can kind of see it dimming down there and that's because the sun is going behind a cloud sometimes it gets dimmer than that as you can see the tubes now are getting a bit dim because the sun just came behind a cloud and this will sink down into the 30 volt range when there's not a lot of sun. It still heats though. I'll have more videos uploaded soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.